Hey everyone, Patty Perry here, Channel Perry Out 420. How are you all doing today? I hope everybody's feeling well and staying medicated so that you can be the best you can be. Lately I've gotten a few things in the mail and I kind of want to show you what I got. Share what fine people around this community have uh, done. Amazing people in this community. Um, first off, and this is not in any order... The first thing I'm going to say is thank you to CoinOp. Um, I received my package from them from their auction. I got a really neat koozie. I like these things. I collect these things because you never know. You never know. <laughs> Somebody might need one. And his lovely wife, Florina, sent this. It is a replica of the wrenches it's a barrel bushing wrench modeled from 1911 and it was made in the USA you know what they say good old USA there you go and the back side the name of the company is Osborne Coinage Company it's really cool I've never seen one so I don't know if it's gold plated or not but it's just a very sweet gift and I thank you for that with that came two rolls of 2019 pennies that I had won in an auction before. A little glitch with PayPal. <laughs> Still don't know. He may have a doppelganger. <laughs> but, um, so I have to resend him the 10 from this order, and I'm, I'm going to do that the next auction, put it all together. That way, you know, he's right there with me in case I have any problems. But for some reason, I mean, this is a $148 thing and $10 didn't go through. Weird. But anyway, he's looking into it too because he don't want no doppelganger. Um, but I opened one roll and I saved the other. I got two. And they're just amazing. They're beautiful. I found a bunch of toning going on. I love that. So I'm going to leave the other one in the roll. Hopefully it'll tone more. Also in that order. 2002 ASE. I hope you can see that well. To add to my collection, I got a, I received a, I got a, I got a, I received also a 217 ASE. She's just as beautiful. Of course. Um, and these two that I bid on so that I could have to trade. They're really beautiful. They came in these. The auction was... Not his last one. I think the one before or something. If you want to go back and see. But, uh... If you can get that up. Yeah. I'm getting too... I'm getting, might get too much late with this curtain. Let's see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Okay, in the back. I don't know, try to get it. Yeah, I get nothing but flash, flash. And this is the other one. This is a 215. This one is a two, no, this is a 1990. I didn't realize it was a 1990. Well, anyway, 1991. And this one here is... 2015, another beauty. Let's see if I can't get... Nah, I can't do nothing right here with that. There she is. I'm not going to take her out of the flip. But I got these two to hopefully do some trading for some channel pours. I'd really like to get start collecting the pores of people who are on YouTube who do pores. So I've got these two 1990 and 2015 ASEs that um, hopefully I can trade for some channel pores. Let me know. <laughs> anyway, I also, um, that's what I got for them. That's CoinOp. I'm going to put CoinOp's link down below and you can go check them out. The right link. I'm going to put the link to the real going up. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway. So 
so that's all sweet and wonderful. I've gotten a few of my big flips um, wins in, and I haven't really put them up, but they're really nice. <laughs> I got um, these a quarter ounce, no, yeah, quarter ounce. Uh, Troy, of course, Buffalo rounds. Got a couple of them. I got some bars. These are Graham bars, so those are cool. It's like my bullion, I would imagine I would call this. This is a Libtard. This is a 2012 Libtard. Look. Why do I do this upside down? So. There you go. Um, there's another one of those. These are cool, the buffalo rounds. These are cool. I don't like them. Okay, and I also have a bar, a Cook Island Bounty bar that was in, that was back at Ravenhawk's auction. I can't remember. I don't know if it was auction, it was a pull, I think. Look at that. And then I got this the other day. I was uh, my bud Mel, Mel's coin corner there, um, has auctions on his channel, and I won this rule. I took it away from Kellen L. Sorry, Kellen, <laughs> but it's nice. And of course, ah! oh, go back this way. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare anybody. Um, this, this I got from an auction from Jeep and John. Now it was I'm gonna call it was a silent secret auction because he had brought it up in one of his daily coffee chats, and two of us saw it and went. Ah! I want it. So, uh, thank you, Jeep and John, for doing this for me. And for him, too, because he's a crazy motherfucker. But anyway, it is the um, fine silver, one ounce, Argent Per. Argent Per. Is that, if that's French, shame on me, because I took French. And there she is on the back. But this is the, it's a Canada coin. It's the wolf. It's the wolf. It's the wolf. Yeah, these two, this coin and the one that Captain Jerk got, didn't get a chance to make it to auction. I think both of us reached through the computer screen and <laughs> grabbed John and said, no, we want him. So that's a beautiful, thank you very much, Jeep and John 1976. His link will be below. Okay. Let's get that. Now, another thing I wanted to show. I got this a while back. It was um, a quick, small auction that the sweetest lady in Texas had. Uh, her name is Miss Yupagirl. Uh, I'm sorry, I call her Miss Yupagirl. Misplaced Yupagirl. I'll have her link below as well. Miss Yup. I got to her auction a few seconds late, just when this particular piece was ending. And I saw them closing it, and I was like, uh-uh. Uh, 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 and I kind of felt bad, and I was like, I wanted to see that. So she put it back up, and I saw this, and I fell in love with it, and I immediately bit on it, and uh, I got it. You see that, Morgan? I don't know how well you can see. She's so toned up. Oh, it's, it's just not doing it justice. I got to take it out because you got to see this coin. It's amazing. I was so surprised that nobody there bid on this because this, well, number one, it's a Morgan. Okay. It's a New Orleans, if I can get it open. And this is mine. This coin is never, ever going anywhere. So I, I can touch it. I can do whatever I want. But I want to get the, see if I can get the coloring to show on this. Those colors you see are really blue and green and orange. They're absolutely beautiful. There's purple in there. So this is like my favorite coin ever. Well, you can kind of see it there. 
Hold it still! So, anyway, I got that a while back and I never really showed it. I love it. It's amazing. It's just an amazing coin. Miss you, thank you. We'll have her link below as well. Real quick, my slabs. I love me slabs. Oh, I forgot this one. This was one I got a while back. I really don't remember. Um, I think it was at an auction. But this one I was just kind of holding as a lucky coin. It's a 2002. ASE. I'll put that over there with my ASEs. Now, um, I've got some weird slabs that like people would go, why do you got that? Uh, we'll go with this one first. Uh, it's a 1915D Indian uh, Native American profile. Aboriginal bust, perhaps. I don't want to offend anybody. It's a buffalo nickel. Um, I don't know how they know it's a 1915D because I can't even see the date. But that's what it is. And then it's in a annex. A-N-A-C-S case. I got this from a grab bag at my friend Big Flips. My friend and your friend, Mr. Big Flip and Flipside. And Sidekick once in a while comes in and there's, there's always the dogs. <laughs> it's a great place to go. So that was really cool to get. Um, this was in a grab bag a long time ago, and I can't really tell you if it was from Big Flips or from Shibby's. I kind of think it's Big Flip. But anyway, on the back it says sample, not for sale. And it's from ICG, it's MS60 and Details. And then it says it's been cleaned. So I don't know if this was like a salesman sample or they were just trying out the cases, but that's what that is. And I like it. It's different. It's different. Oh, besides it being in 1959. Ooh, ooh. And here we go. 1958D, one cent, toning like the brightest rainbow we've ever seen. Well, the darkest rainbow. But it's an MS-64, red-brown. I don't know if you could even see how that was toning, but... Oh, no, it's not really showing up well. But it is really nice toned. It's got some beautiful purples and dark blues and some reds right there. Beautiful. Another weirdo piece, and this is from ICG as well. It is first day of issue. It's certified. It's a Proof 70 Deep Cam 2007S Presidential. That's Adams. I'm not sure. I think they're worth like a buck fifty, if I'm not mistaken. I don't. And that's weird because it just has second president Adams on the back. One dollar coin, really not much. Much info there. Okay. Is that the only weirdo ones? That's my really weird weirdo ones. Now. Okay. Here I have... I can't remember where I got this from. But I did check the number, and last time I checked, it was worth $25. This is a 1979 S PCGS Proof 70 Deep Cam Type 1. I still don't know what Type 1 is, but I'll find out. And when I looked on the website, it has this as being like one of 4,000 or something that were graded, and there were none higher than this. So... That's pretty cool. I like that. 69 and 70. Under that, I don't really collect. Unless it's weird. Like those. 
So that's neat. Um, this is, oh, and this is um, all, the, no, this one here is um, NGC. <sighs> Let's see. It is a 2014 S silver, 25 cent piece. It's the Great Smoky Mountains Early Releases Proof 70 Ultra Cameo. I hope these are coming in good because I don't want to waste your time or my time. So that's really nice. You know, um, saving them for prosperity, I reckon. Okay, now these are my slabbed ASEs. This one, I think, is really going to be one of my favorites, or my favorite. I saw this, I believe it was at Shibby Rob's auction. I could be wrong, but it was Shibby Rob's, I believe. And we were all there was a while back, and I was bidding on this. <clears throat> and other people were bidding on it, too, but they started backing out. But one person kept bidding over me. So I just let it go. I was like, all right, I'm out. That person was Kanan. Confrontational nonconformist. I'm going to put his link below, too. He's almost at 1,000. And he has a big party giveaway going on when he hits 1,000. And I'm also giving away a Morgan. I'll show you later. Okay, and this is that early release, MS-70. That pretty? I really like my slabs, except that I can't hold the coin in my hand. I like holding the coins. I do. I like holding on. They feel very good. And I know they transfer energies, I believe. And these two ladies right here, I got at another auction. And it was Jeep and John 1976's auction. So, you know, his link will be down below. This was a while back, too. Let's see if I can get these up there. These are both um, PCGS Mint State 70 Eagle. Very basic, average. But that's them. It was at the auction for Robert Johnson's brother, I just remembered. Yep. So, I hope he's doing well. hope Robert Johnson's doing well. This one I won. My very first time over to Shibby's. Well, I had been sub to him and I would watched his videos, but I never really attended any of the uh, giveaways or anything. He had a giveaway. And his giveaway was a donation. Anyway, uh, the... Uh, well, it was Wesley. I can't think of his last name right now. It's bugging me. I will get it out, though. This here, um, ASE, was a sign. Now, I don't, I don't know if it's signed or printed sign, but it's the artist's signature. Now, he retired in 210, and this is a 212 coin, so... But ain't she beautiful? This is only uh, PR... No, it's not. It's a MS-69. I'm sorry. It's just a standard MS-69, but it is signed. A printed sign or whatever they so yeah really love them on the lower end side I have the lower end side listen to me big shot over here um, fourth president of the United States James Madison PC wow it says it doesn't say PCGS it says professional coin grading service I've never seen that before. There's that. Got a lot of these out of grab bags. And um, they're worth a few bucks. They're worth a couple of bucks. They're a great learning thing. And I get them to give away and, and to donate for auctions. And this one is a um, PCGS MS66 James Madison. So some, you know, your grandkid or even yourself might be collecting these and they're a good thing to have. This I got gifted to me. I 
can't remember the name. I'm so sorry. My short-term memory just shits the bed sometimes. But this is um this was at an auction. I I wanted to uh, just look at the coin because I had missed it. I was out doing something and I had missed it and I wanted to see it because I wanted to get it for my brother. It was right at the time that my brother was in the hospital, um, having his spine surgery, and I wanted to get it. You know, just something. And it had been. Was it Rose Aguaya? Who did that? I can't. I'm going to look back at who it was. Whoever it was, I'm so sorry. I can't remember. I'll remember when this is over and scream it out. Go, oh, it's so and so. But yeah. Thank you for that. That's beautiful. PR69 decam. Deep cam, and that's not going anywhere. That's staying in the fam. So that was really nice of her. I mean, extremely nice. When somebody buys something for me, and, and I, I, I'm just floored because I've only seen that really in this community. I, I've seen people gift people things and stuff, you know, but to actually go out there and premeditatedly know you're going to bid on something that you plan on giving to somebody else, it's an amazing thing. So, oh, and this last thing here is PCGS Proof 69 Deep Cam 1974S Kennedy. Isn't that pretty? Now, I, th I think these are 40%. I don't think proofs are more than that if they're silver at all. It doesn't say this is silver, so it may, yeah, it's just clad. I don't mean just clad, it's clad. But it's beautiful. You know, and these here are something I'd love to keep on and pass on to my son. And worst comes to worst, I have them to sell or trade. You know, but these, these right now aren't going anywhere. I just absolutely love looking at them. So those will stay. And I showed you those weirdo coins. Weirdo slabs. You weirdos. I love unique things. How are we doing? Already 22 minutes. Okay, so. Uh, was there anything else I needed to show you? I think that was it. I've got, um, oh. I want to show this. Because I started collecting these. I have two horseshoes. And this is the third. Uh, actually, this is like. The fourth one I've received, and I'll tell you why. A while back, when I was doing a lot of geocaching, ca geocaching, I was entering uh, a contest to get a unique yearly coin that goes out. Uh, what it is is the coin number is owned by Big D, and he makes these homemade geo coins with that number on it and he sends it out to people who win and the people who win can do whatever they want with it they can just keep it or they can pass it around whatever and the geocaching number on the back is what they would write in that they've seen it or that you know they own it i was lucky enough to win this one and it's actually counter stamped i don't know if you can see it but it says 007 big d it's the april fool's coin but anyway, so that's basically my first counter stamp. Um, my second ones were these two horseshoes. They were in the same roll. Don't know if you can see them very well. But they have little horseshoes. Let's see if I can find where there might be one. Good Lord in heaven. Has anybody thrown up yet? Well, there's a horseshoe stamped in there somewhere. Um, and then this is, would be the actual fourth one I got, but third one <coughs> since I've been here anyway. Badlands 44. That's right. You see it. Read them, read them, read them and weep. Yep. That's a Badlands counter stamp. So yeah. I want to be trading for counter stamps, and I want to be trading for ports. 
I'm into the art of it all. Another thing I forgot to show. Mr. Doughboy. This is a dime rose. He makes roses out of dimes. You've seen bells and rings and everything. He makes these roses out of dimes. They're amazing. And I also have a tea set made out of pennies, which is pretty amazing. If I can grab the teapot. There it is. If you can see that or not. It's a little teeny, tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny pain in my ass. Teeny, tiny teapot. And yes, it has the little cups. I got three little cups. One of them has a seed in it. And of course, that's the one I pick. <laughs> okay. And here's the little teeny tiny cup. And saucer. Isn't that something? I love these. That's Mr. Doughboy356 here on YouTube. Go check him out. He's got some really cool artwork. Um, he does banjos, and um, he's working on a, f a coin acoustic that I want to buy. He um, also carves wooden ones, and he carves little miniature wooden guitars out of your favorite of your favorite guitarists' guitar, like you know Gene Simmons' guitar. I think he did that. I'm not sure, but he do it. A miniature of his. He uses silver wire for the strings. Of course, you can't play it, but it's, you know. And they're painted and decorated just like the original. And he makes little boxes just like your guitar carrying case. So, the guy's amazing. Please go check him out. It's Mr. Doughboy. D-O-E-B-O-Y. Mr. Doughboy. 356. Right here on YouTube. Very cool. I'm really into the art side of coins, more so than, I'm, you know, I'm collecting for future whatever, but those art coins are amazing, like the hobo coins, all counter sinks I love, uh, I mean counter stamps, I need more coffee, um, yeah, I really like them, and that's why I like the silver rounds too, because they're very artistic, and like I told you, man, I f fell in love with this wolf, I, I just... Look at it every day. So, I think that's about all I have to bore you with right now. I'm going to take a puff to wishing you well and wishing your family well. And just to stay healthy. Snoop Dobby, Doggy Dog. Snoop Dobby. Snoop Dobby Dog. Snoop Doggy Dog put out a message that he didn't think, he hasn't heard that anybody in Jamaica has been sick. I don't know. I haven't checked, but that's what he said. I wonder why that would be. Hmm. Peace.